Hello everyone, welcome at ISOP Academy. In this tutorial, I will explain how to use ISO web client options to customize your web client for your needs. All the web client options are accessible through your icon on top right corner of the screen, right here, and here select the options. Now let's go through all these tabs and talk about the most important options in here. Right here, on the first tab, there is a way how to change your password. Just click on Change Password button and fill in your current and new password. Right here, in Private Certificates tab, you can upload your digital certificates for S-MIME features, like digital signatures and message encryption. It's recommended not to delete expired certificates, as after that you won't be able to decrypt messages received for these certificates. Now let's move on to mail options. Here you can enable sound notifications in web client, set time limit for checking new messages, customize delete messages workflow, and also allow to automatically add recipients to your contact list. In the mail compose tab, you can check to always encrypt and digitally sign your messages once you have uploaded your certificate in the previous section. You can also enable to always show CC and BCC fields in the Mail Compose window. And one of very important option is to enable and configure Smart Attach behavior. While using Smart Attach, messages containing Birdu files as attachments will be sent with just a link to download this attachment from the server, allowing you to send really huge files as those files are then stored in your files folder and unique link is sent to the recipient. Also, one of very important option is autoresponder. Configure it once you will be some time out of the office, like on holidays for example. Together with autoresponder, it can be also very useful to set forwarder for the time of your vacation. This will automatically forward all incoming messages to selected email address. Very powerful tool are rules. You can define several rules to manage your incoming messages. One of the most frequently used rules is to move selected messages to specific folder. This topic is however pretty complex, so I would recommend you to visit our ISORP Academy website for more details. And of course, one of the most frequently used options are signatures. You can very easily define several signatures and then use them while composing new message. Okay, now let's move on to calendars. It is very important to set correctly your time zone, as all events and invitations then calculate the time of the event according to your time zone. You can also set your business hours or day when your week starts. On the Reminder tab, you can define default reminders for upcoming events or turn off email reminders if you don't need them. There are also options to import national holidays to your calendar and set the weather locations. Even web chat or team chat has its own category in web client options. You can select which statuses would be available in the web chat window, enable the sound notifications. In the chat window, you can disable enter for sending a message or modify options in team chat. In general tab, you can change your skin, activate night mode for web client interface, enable favorites, which are useful if you have a long list of folders and shared accounts and would like to have easy access also for frequently used folders down in the list. Unless you really need to, I don't really recommend you to change anything in default folders. In the documents tab, you can turn automatic revisions for documents on, as well as autosave after a few minutes. And finally, in licenses, you can access to your client licenses for ISO desktop client or Outlook Sync. Last tab is dedicated to import or export data to and from your account, which can be useful if you are new in ISO environment and would like to import your previous contacts and calendar events into your account. So, 
That was pretty detailed description of most frequently used options in ISO Web Client. I hope that everything was clear enough, but if you have any other questions, do not hesitate and write a comment underneath the video. If you are looking for other educational videos about ISORP, have a look at our YouTube channel or visit ISORP Academy on ISORP.com website. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Bye! Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend your next video, which is as well related to ISORP. So see you there! Bye bye!